We're leaving as soon as Sophie comes back. We're on standby till then. Doesn't seem like the enemy has invaded this garden yet. Are they on their way? Where's the sorceress? We have to find her. And... I've got to do something to show that Sophie can depend on me. Why the search for alone? Alone, inviting Squall back to the past? Whereas the sorceress searches for it. Could it be the sorceress is just trying to make the journey to the past too? But if so, for what reason? Why did the sorceress come into the picture all of a sudden anyway? Was she actually waiting for this opportunity? What? I wonder if she was living a normal life before all this. I wonder. You know, ever since I met all of you, I've been doing some thinking. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't come up with an answer either. Interesting. Ooh, basketball. Sorry to keep you waiting! Thanks so much for coming all the way here, everyone. Thanks! Take me with you when you fight the sorceress, okay? Okay, I could do that, Selfie. You're a pretty good magic caster. But I'm not gonna do that. Thematically appropriate though it might be... No. I want to get even! I want my revenge! I'm moving on. Um... Do we have to fight? Isn't there another way? You know, to avoid any bloodshed? Yo! What the? What are you saying all of a sudden? Maybe someone really smart can come up with a way. So we wouldn't have to fight anymore. What indeed. If someone can come up with something, that would be great. But no one's doing anything. They're all scared. Uneasy. All they do is complain. They're just pretending to be thinking. Is that how you really feel, Squall? Just come on, lay it all out. Wouldn't be the first time. Mm. They criticize others, but in the end, they can't do anything either. Rinoa, why all this? All of a sudden, what do you expect from me? I grew up in the garden. I'm a seed, do you understand? It's like she's a mind reader. Only not, because she's literally saying, don't bottle up all of our feelings. Uh, <laughs> you were part of a resistance movement in Timber, right? Unlike others who were all taught, you took your weapons and fought. And now you're saying this? What happened to you? I guess I'm getting scared. Sometimes, when I'm with you all, I feel like we're on the same wavelength, you know? But when the battle starts happening, it's different. Everyone's tempo seems to pick up, and I get left behind. I try to catch up, but it's no use. How far is everyone going? I can't hear anyone. Once I catch up, I wonder, is everyone safe? Will they welcome me with open arms? Is everyone okay? Will we all make it back together? When I start thinking like that... Someone might not be all there. Someone you love might disappear before your very eyes. It's tough when you live your life thinking that way. But that's why I fight. 
when I was little. I think I was four or so. I was in an orphanage. <laughs> Plenty of kids, all with no parents. It was around the end of the Sorcerer's War, so I guess it couldn't be helped. Anyway, that's where I was. And out of all the kids there, one was very special to me. Near me, wanna play? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I really like this girl, and it made me so happy just to talk to her, with her. Um, ha. Well, isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? Why, I believe the flashback indicated that it was. No house made of stone by the ocean. I knew right away when we first met. Because you two seem to have forgotten. It was just kind of sucky that no one remembered me. Spiky little selfie and bossy little Quistus. That is just so weird. Hmm. And Zell was there too. Ha! Huh. Interesting. And I suppose not just Zell. Sis, where'd you go? You don't. This. We've seen a flashback for this before, haven't we? Or a dream, perhaps? Yes, a flashback to Squall's childhood. Before he buried all of his emotions. Which is a very teenager thing to do. It, and definitely not healthy, but man, I sure as hell did that. Uh, hmm. How about this? Yeah! The ocean! The lighthouse! Wow, Zell was that kind of kid. <laughs> oh, that's terrific. Cry, baby Zell, go back to bed. If I remember this, does that mean I was there too? We all got in big trouble. Then, what about my parents and the lamb? The dicks in Blam must have adopted you. Yep, that's probably it. I was here. Cry, baby Zell. Who indeed? Cypher! Cypher was also an or orphanage, which actually makes sense, because we already knew that Squall and Cypher were orphans, uh, because they never got adopted by anyone, so eventually the Garden took them in. This we already knew. We didn't know about the rest of these <laughs> kids, though. Cypher, 
My arch enemy! Okay, I gotta be honest with you, Zell. Cypher may be your arch enemy, but you sure, sure as hell aren't his. Well. Cypher was always Cypher. Zell always crying and screaming. Irvine? Sorry, I don't remember you. Quistus, I think you were difficult to deal with. Always full of energy. Cypher was there too. Except for Renoa, we were all there. Hey, that means... Yep, I was there too. I... I was, I was always waiting for Sis to come back. But I'm doing my best. I'll be okay without you, Sis. I'll be able to take care of myself. No, you really didn't, Squall. You are just a huge missing, huge emotionally repressed missing pro, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> sit. Oh. Oh yes. She was a bit older than us, so we all used to call her sis. Christus, Zell, Selfie, and Irvine, and Cypher and Alone, and myself. Yep. I'm not sure what the meaning behind all this is, but we were definitely together. You mean, Sis is alone? She's the one that takes us back to Laguna's period! She said she wanted to change the past. I don't know why. There can only be one reason for that, right? She must not be happy with the present. Hmm. She's part of our industry. <laughs> okay then. Indeed. Hey, Selfie, that goes for you too. Yeah, it is. I wonder what could have caused that. How could we all have forgotten, except for Irvine? Uh, good job on that, by the way, Irvine. I guess we were very small. Hmm. Yeah, that's one way to find out you're an orphan. Uh, I guess, uh, Quistus already knew that she was adopted. I don't know about Selfie. Well, Irvine obviously did, did because he remembered. I don't know about Selfie. I wonder where. We definitely haven't seen it before. Hmm. So Sis was alone, eh? Everyone was fond of Sis, but you, Squall, you kept hugging her for yourself. You sure have a good memory. Hmm. This is really strange. I don't think I was adopted because of the way I am. Probably the same for Cypher, too. The two of... You two... Us two? I thought this was Squall talking. Whatever. Must have been in the garden from age five or so. Even so, he's never mentioned anything about growing up in an orphanage. And nothing about this has ever crossed my mind when I see him either. Don't you find that odd? That is strange. In my case, I had loads and loads of fun growing up in Tralbia. That's probably why I forgot all about my childhood. That's what I think. But I don't know what's up with you guys! It's so odd you would forget! Hmm. She was a little- she is a year older than us, so she would have been a little bit older when this took place as well. 
Uh, that can actually that can make a big difference. <laughs> Things didn't work out too well at my new home, so I came to the garden by ten. That was when I first noticed Cypher and Squall. They were always fighting. Yep, Twist is always used to break us up. Yes! That's it! Cypher was a kid who always needed special attention. Or always needed to be the center of attention. Rather. Hmm. The Squall always ignored him. Then they would end up fighting. Skull could have easily walked away from it, but he always took up the... the challenge. He should have just ignored him. Okay, you're sending conflicting messages here. He got into fights with Cypher for ignoring Cypher, and then proceeded to fight him because he wasn't ignoring Cypher. A anyway. Hmm. Interesting. I tried, but I just couldn't pull it off. Even after becoming an instructor, I couldn't stop thinking about Squall. Hmm. Is that so, Quistis? I think you... Okay, I don't actually think... You are clearly rationalizing this, but I think it's more for the benefit of the others here. <laughs> At least as much as, your, as for yourself. <laughs> It was my childhood feelings as a big sister that lingered. Yeah, sure. Keep telling yourself that. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that might be a little bit more honest. Oh? Oh, yeah! He must have forgotten too, as well. <laughs> and while you're picking fights with him, hmm. How about this? The price we pay for using the GF. They provide us with great power, but they make, but they take a place in our brain. So what you're saying is, the area is where our memories are stored? No, that's just a rumor that the GF critics are spreading. So if we keep relying on the GF, we won't be able to remember a lot of things. There's no way the Headmaster would allow such a dangerous thing! Then how is it that I remember when everyone else forgot? Well, I haven't used a GF until I met you. That's why I remember more than you guys. Hmm. That's a good point. Uh... Yeah, about that. I have a confession to make. When I was 12, I went on an outdoors training mission. I found a GF inside one of the monsters I defeated. I judged with that GF for a while, so I have experience with GF too. But, but it's really weird. I can't remember the name of that GF. It must be the GF's fault. What should we do? Well, nothing. I mean... Hmm. As long as we continue fighting, we are indebted to the powers of the GF. If there's a price I have to pay for that, I'll gladly pay it. Hey, I know! Let's all keep a diary. That way we'll have something to remind us. Eh, getting tongue-tied. Are you sure that's what you want? Well, maybe it's for the best. 
I don't care if I forget about my childhood when Cypher used to pick on me. What's important to me now is having the power to protect my parents. They adopted me. There's no way I'm letting go of that. Hey. Do you all remember Matron? She was always wearing black. Dressed in black. Let's see. Very kind, with long black hair. Yes, I really admired her. Well, she doesn't look too familiar. Oh, maybe I stand corrected. Hmm. Matron's name is Adia Kramer. Matron is Sorcerer's Adia. <laughs> Uh... Hmm. That's a very good question. You're wondering why Matron would take over a... Oh, whoops. Every fucking time. I've said this before, but you know when it is the first time I have recorded a session, if I forget to turn off, ste turn off the Steam overlay. Okay, uh, one second. Okay. At this point, we probably wouldn't even comprehend it if we talked about it. Hear me out. Seed and Garden were all Matron's idea, right? I'm not- I'm not a seed. Well, you're almost a seed. Uh, but I share the same feelings with all of you. Seeds are supposed to fight the sorcerers, right? This is strange. That's right. It was when I was being tortured by Cypher he wanted to know what Seed was. Matron should know. But Matron is the source of Sidia. There's no denying that. What does this all mean? Squall, you listening? So, like, this is what I wanted to say. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I understand what Reno was saying. I understand, but I'm still gonna fight. I want to stay true to everything I've ever stood for. I'm sure it's the same for everyone. That is why I thought it'd be best if everyone knew we ha would have to face the Matron. You've all heard this before. How life has infinite possibilities? I don't believe that one bit. There weren't many paths for me to choose. Sometimes there would only be one. From the limited possibilities I faced, the choices I made have brought me this far. That's why I value that path. I want to hold it. That it had to be taken. I know our opponent is Matron, whom we all love very much. We might lose something very important on account of the GF, too. But I don't mind. It's not like I drifted here on the tides of fate. I'm here because I choose to be here. And more importantly, we all grew up together! But due to various circumstances, we were all separated. As a kid, you couldn't really go out on your own. There were ju just no other paths to take. All I did was cry. But somehow, we're all together again. Just like old times, the whole lot has changed. We're not kids anymore. We're strong enough to take care of ourselves make our own decisions, and we're confronted with a damn big one now. Do we fight or not? I say we fight. Shoot for a common goal! Hey! At least it'll keep us together a little longer. Hmm. Sorcerer's 
such a bummer. Yeah. Okay, that's a bit of an understatement. Uh, yeah, how do you feel with all this, Renola? Oh? We're gonna fight. I think it's the only way we can move on with our lives. If that makes any sense at all, come with us. I'm sure that's what everyone wants. Oh, it's snowing! Uh, that's what they meant? Snow is a gift from the fairies? Hmm. That sounds like an excellent idea. What indeed? Might be there. Blue? You mean as to why Matron turned out like this? It probably has to do with something that happened in the past. But the past is the past. It's over. Done with. Despite what truth we find, it's not going to change the present. But... I want to see it too. I don't know what we'll find, but let's head for Adia's house. I guess that's it. We're fighting. You guys are fearless. Uh, I don't think that's quite right. I wish we didn't have to fight either. Would that it was a possibility. Okay, so I have a lot to say about what, what just happened there. But, uh, I'm gonna, we're at, uh, oh, 27 minutes, so I'm gonna save it for the next episode. Uh, until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII with Chaos Blue, and have a terrific day. Bye!